Hey there, everybody. Hope all is well. Playing um, Yankee 61. It's uh, New York at Chicago and Comiskey Park. The White Sox. Let's go over the lineup for the Yanks. It's Boyer, the third baseman. Kubik, the shortstop. Maris in right. Mantle in center. Serb in left. Scour in the first baseman. Howard, the catcher. Richardson at second base. And uh, Stafford is the pitcher. He's a pretty good pitcher for the Yanks. He's a B. Z. And for the... White Sox is, uh, they have excellent defense, by the way. It's going to be Aparicio at short, Fox at second, Covington and right, Seavers at first, Minoso in left, Smith at third, Landis in center, Lawler the catcher, and Pierce. Billy Pierce, not very good. He's a D, which is basically the league average, uh, and a Y and a Z. But he does have a Z to maybe prevent a few extra walks. And we're going to get started playing APA using the classic 61 cards, classic 61 boards, and the classic 61 sack booklet. Um, I'm also going to use one of these little cardboard APA uh, uh, shakers. And let's roll some dice, some old dice. Here goes. Here's Cleet Boyer. And that's a 64. It'll be a swing and a miss at a high fastball for a strikeout. The game is underway. Here's Tony Kubik. What's Kubik batting? 243. And a 26 is a ball hit right back to Pierce. And feels his position and throws them out. Two down. Maris. Late night ball game, 1.59 a.m., 63 Maris, and that is popped up. Foul ground. Catcher Lawler throws the mask away and makes the catch that retires the side. No runs, no hits, no left. Go to bottom of the first. Louis Aparicio. Pitch from Stafford, 35, and that is a 39. That's foul back. Into the stands, the souvenir for a lucky fan. A 65 is a drive to center field. Mantle tracks it down for the first out. Nelly Fox next. Fifty-four, and that's lifted to right center field. Maris drifts over and under it. Two down. Here's Wes Covington. Pitch from Stafford, a 52. Ground ball to Boyer, a third. Over to Scourin, and that's three up and three down. Easy inning for both pitchers. Here to begin the game. Go to the top of the second. Mickey Mantle leads off. Mickey Mantle is a switch hitter. And he is going to, oh, it's a 40, so that's car foul. Into the seats. About three rows deep. And Billy Pierce brings it. 14, that's cracked to left center field. Minoso and Landis converge, but it's Minoso. Mini Minoso. Come on, you got to love that name. Serve. Bob Serve with a 64, and that's curveball gets him. Swings out of his shoes. Two outs. Howard with two outs. Oh, I'm sorry, it should be scouring. And I think I pinch hit for him in the last game. That's why he's not in the deck. Yeah, go, 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 go. There he is. Moose scouring batting. 219 with nine home runs. Here's a pitch. And a 15. And that is line base hit. He rips one. Oh. Let's go back. There we go. Single for scouring. He's on it first. He will be playing it safe at this point with an S on his card. Here's Elston Howard. Pitched Elston. And that's line base hit. Stopping at second is Scourin. So we got two back-to-back two-out singles. by One by Scourin, one by Elston Howard. Puts runners on first and second for the Yankees. And Richardson. And we're going to send them, if it gets to that, a 26 with first and second. 
is going to be a infield fly, middle infield behind second base, and it's Nellie Fox makes the catch, and that retires the side. No runs, a couple of hits, two left. And we head to the bottom of the second inning. It's going to be Seavers, Minoso, and Smith. Forty-six and swinging a miss goes down on strikes for the first out. Bill Stafford now to Minoso taps it right back to Stafford. Throws him out, two down. And Fuzzy Smith, Alphonse Eugene Fuzzy Smith, the third baseman, and he checks his swing, and that's a slow ground. He's short. There'll be no throw, an infield single for Fuzzy Smith, who is fast. Here's Landis, who's got good power. Jim Landis, here's the pitch, and that ball is a swing and a miss. Struck him out, no runs, one hit, one left. Top of the third, here we come. I check something out real quickly. Let's see. Yeah, they nicknamed him Squirrel. Seavers is the squirrel. <laughs> That's I like that nickname. Let's continue this game. Top of the third, it's Stafford. Not a very good hitter's card. On his, that's a 15, and that's going to be a base hit and feel single. Little tapper down the line, and Smith tried to see if it would roll foul, and it stayed fair. So Stafford is on with a single. Here comes Boyer with a 62, and that's a 39. Stafford will be playing it safe, not stealing any bases. And it's a ground ball to second, flips to the short for one, back to first, not in time, fielder's choice. Boyer's on it first now. One out, one on, and here comes Kubik, and we're gonna try a hit and run. And where's my book? Here's the, there goes the runner, 44. That's line base hit. That's going to send the runner to third. First and third. Yanks have something going. And to the plate is Maris. Roger Maris. Here's a pitch. And that ball is struck him out for the second out. Swung, swung through that pitch. And here's Mickey Mantle. And a 52 is going to be a 27 with runners on first and third. And that will be a strikeout. Back-to-back -back case. And the inning, no runs. Two hits. Two left. And we go to bottom of the third. The catcher, Lawler, leading off against Bill Stafford, 64. And that's car foul again. 14, crack to left, center. Serve and Mantle come over, and it's Bob Serve with the catch. Pitcher Billy Pierce, left-handed hitter with a 12, and that is a slow grounder Richardson who charges and throws out the pitcher, two out. And Aparicio now with a 62, and that'll be hard hit ball up the middle, but Richardson gets there, plants his feet, and throws him out. That retires the side. Three up and three down. Easy inning for Stafford. Stafford's one of the better pitchers on the Yankee staff. They don't have a great staff. They have Terry a C. They have um, Whitey Ford an A. And then Stafford a B. Stafford doesn't start much in the first 40 or so games. But I think he becomes part of the regular rotation. After about 40 or so games, let's see just quickly how many games have we played. Uh, yeah, about 50 games. He starts becoming part of the regular rotation, I believe. 
because he does have a good number of starts for the Yanks. He just hasn't started up to this point. He's been in the bullpen. Bill Stafford, pitcher for the Yankees, is from Catskill, New York. Here's a pitch, and that is ball four to serve. And he walks on down to first. Moves Scourin. Pitch to Scourin a 46, and that's a 22, and Scourin gets plunked. Hit by pitch. So first two Yankees reach. Let me just make sure that's it. 22 hit by pitch. Yeah, it is. So first and second now up is Howard. And here's a pitch from Pierce, a 44. That's line base hit. First and second. Let's see what's going to happen here. It rips one to left. One scores. S out at home. Serve, I don't think, is an S. And so the other to third. So it's going to be first and third. Let's just check out serve. Oh, he is. He's out at home. Wow. He's a slow player. So he's out at home seven and two, and both runners move up. Yikes. All right. So Let's do that. Seven and two runner is out. So it's a single runner out at home. Seven and two, and both runners move up. So you got one out, second and third. Infield's going to be in for uh, fourth inning. Yeah, they're going to bring the infield in. Richardson. Pitch. Billy Pierce with a 21. That's a fly ball to left. Let's see if that will be a sacrifice fly. Uh, second and third. Left fielder is Minoso. Minoso is a two. So we're looking at the column two. And runners will hold on this one. So not deep enough. Oh, I just found a brick that I needed for my, for my to charge my phone. All right, so that's going to be a fly out to shallow left field. And Scourin doesn't really have the speed. So here comes uh, Bill Stafford. Pitch from Pierce, a 33, and that's going to be a base hit. And that may bring in a couple. We'll see what happens. Second and third and an eight. Single over first. Runner scores. S on second out at home. Howard is going to be out at home, and that will end the inning. It's going to be a 9-2. to two. One run scores on the single, and then Howard is out 9-2. to two. So let's do that. Single by Stafford, helping, him, helping himself. And it's going to be a 9-2 put out to end the inning. But the Yanks do pick up a run. They lead it one nothing. So complicated inning there with a lot going on. A couple of runners thrown out at home because there were S's. I had one, three S's on base. Serve, Scourin, and Howard. Here's uh, Fox. Melly Fox leads off with a ground ball to first. Scourin flips to Stafford. Covering the bag, three to one. Next is uh, Covington with a 65. And that's popped up, foul ground. Catcher Howard flips the mask away and makes the grab. Two out. And it's the squirrel. First base receivers with a 31. That's a check swing. Never down the line. Boyer charges, barehands it, and decides not to throw. It's going to be an infield single for receivers. Second hit allowed by Stafford today. Here's Mini Minoso. Oh, that's a foul ball. Uh, souvenir for a lucky fan. Let's do it again. A 53. Ooh, an 18. Is that an 18 or a 16? That looks like uh, 18. And let's see. 18, and that's going to be a ground ball to short and bobbled, booted by Kubik, and going to third. Is going to be Seavers, so that's an E right at a third, E6. So with two outs, 
the Yankee error puts runners on first and third. And here comes Fuzzy Smith, who's got good power. He's got a couple of fives and a one at 66, plus a six at 22. So Stafford better proceed with caution here. Here's a pitch, and that is a deep drive. Center field, Mantle backing up on the track and hauls it in to retire the side. No runs. Uh, no runs on one hit and two left with that error. And top of the fifth coming up. It's going to be the top of the order. Boyer, Kubik, and Maris. Billy Pierce is still in there and pitched the Boyer with a 13. That's ball four. So there's some movement in the bullpen now for the White Sox. Tony Kubik is going to sacrifice with a 36. That's a 33, I believe, on the classic. I remember it's a spiral bound, the modern one, but this one. Is got tape and a 33, I believe, is going to be a foolish choice. So let's tap right back to the pitcher. Pierce whips it to Aparicio. 1 6. So Kubik is on at first. He is speedy. No throw to first as Boyer goes in hard. Cleats high. Here's Maris now, left handed hitter against the lefty Pierce. He's 0 for 2. He's fouled out to the catcher and struck out. Here's the pitch to Maris, and that is a 35 with a runner on first. And that is a foul ball again behind the plate, and the catcher, Lawler, puts it away. Two down. Here's the Mick. Make a uh, fly it out and struck out his pitch from Pierce, a 46. Struck him out for the second time. No runs, no hits, a walk, one left. Bottom of the fifth. one nothing Yanks. Landis, Lawler, and Pierce. Bottom of the order, pitch to Landis, and that's strike three. One down. Stafford checks his sign from Howard. To Lawler of 42, and that'll be ball four. He walks him. And it's going to be Pierce. I'm going to get Pierce to bunt, and that 33 is going to be a ball hit right back to the pitcher and goes to second. So it's a 1 6. Fielder's choice. And Pierce is on it first with Aparicio coming up. Here's the pitch to Aparicio, and that's a base hit. To third goes Pierce, so it's first and third now. Wait a second. Uh, I got a mistake here. Hold on a second. I got Pierce. All right, Landis is at first, and I got 1-6. Lawler? No. I had a... Okay. A strikeout and then a walk and then a field is choice and now it's going to be a single runner to third Nelly Fox up Stafford throws over to first Aparicio with a good lead here's the pitch to Fox it's a strike but Aparicio on his way to second to throw down from Howard and he is safe so it's second and third now Nelly Fox Adding a 216 on the season, so not having a great season. There are two outs here. One nothing Yankees. Here's the pitch, and that's a 33. That is line base hit, I believe. Let me double check this because it's second and third with a B pitcher, and it is a base hit. Both runs score, and the batter to second on the throw to home. The White Sox have taken a two to one lead. Yikes, two RBIs, nine, oh, wait, nine and one. Wow, big two-out single by Nelly Fox. Two runs come in, he goes a second on the throw. The White Sox lead it two to one, the crowd. Goes wild. Here's Covington, the pitch from Stafford, a 44. And that's a an out. 
Fun eight is a uh, first tapper right back to the mound, played by Stafford, and that retires the side. Two runs come in on two hits and a walk. The White Sox lead at two to one, top of the sixth coming up. Serve Scourin and Howard. Here's a pitch to serve, and that 34 has popped up center field, racing in his Landis. Will he get there? Yes. Read that well right off the bat. Scourin, that's from the right side. He's one for one and was hit by a pitch. He scored a run. 41, and that's a ground ball to short Aparicio. Fires the first and gets him plenty of time. Showing off the cannon at short. Luis Aparicio, known for his field. And here's Elston Howard with a 66. And this game is tied way back left field. Minoso looks up, and that's gone. Elston Howard gets a hold of a fastball and drives it deep. And that is his that is his first home run of the season. Wow, because he's got good home run numbers. He's got a 5 at 11 and a 1 at 66, but just hasn't connected until now. 2-2. Two, two. And here's Richardson. Richardson is 0 for 2 today. And a 36 will be a fly ball right field. Covington there, and that retires aside. One run on one hit. The Elston Howard home run. And after five and a half, it's all tied at two with Sievers, Minoso, and Smith coming to bat. Pitch to Covington a 35. That's a strikeout. One down. Sievers is up, and he's over two. 61, and that's going to be a Ground ball to Scourin, who flips to Stafford, 3-1. to one. And Minoso with two outs, 5-4. That's fly ball, right field. Maris, a couple of steps to his left and hauls it in. So 1-2-3 inning for Stafford. See if the Yanks can get the, the offense going. Here's Stafford leading it off with a 42, and that's a strikeout. Boyer and Kubik up next. Cleve Boyer is 0 for 2 today. And a 34 will be a line drive to center field. Landis positioned perfectly. Makes the catch. So hit it on the nose, but right at the center fielder. And Kubik with a 41. Ground ball to short. Played by Aparicio. That retires the side. Three up and three down. All right. Landis leading off the bottom of the seventh, seventh inning stretch. Get down to the vendor. You pick up your the concession to pick up your last uh, brewski before they shut down. That is tap to second. Richardson charges and throws out Landis for out number one. Lawler who's 0 for 1 with a walk and a 66. That's going to take us into column 2. So he drives one in the gap, and that's going to be way back. Gone, 3 to 2. White Sox, Sherm, Lawler. Puts the White Sox ahead with, let's see, quickly a home run, and that'll be Lawler's second home run of the season. Pitcher Pierce now, three to two. Here's Pierce with a 22, and that'll be a fly ball center field. Maris, I'm sorry, a mantle. Two out, and here's Aparicio with a snake eyes. That's going to be... Column two, and let's see what happens with this ball at a 46. That's going to be one hop off the wall. Digging for second is Aparicio and slides in ahead of the throw. So a two-out double. Nelly Fox is up. He singled and drove in two earlier, and that's going to be ball four. So Stafford is going to get a visit from the catcher and the pitching coach here in the bottom of the seventh inning, struggling a little bit. Stafford has an ERA of 626. 
I'm going to use a B pitcher, so that'll come down. But West Covington on the mound uh, at, at the plate. Uh, Bill Stafford on the mound looks in for the sign. Here's the pitch. And a 66. That's going to be trouble. That's going to be way back right field. Maris looks up, and that's gone. Three-run home run by West Covington. Yikes. One, two, three, and the six to two now, White Sox. That's going to be all for Stafford. And we're going to get Clevenger, which we seem to bring in almost every game. It's just a D guy, but that's what I got. So Clevenger comes in. He'll be a C for this first batter, I believe. Yeah. So Stafford went six and two thirds. Clevenger comes in. The W. And the pitch to Seavers. Seavers is 0 for 3 to, uh, no. He is 1 for 3 with a 14. And it's popped up left field. Back goes Boyer and Kubek. And comes serve and serve makes the catch. That retires the side, but not before the White Sox score four runs. On one, two, three hits, two of them home runs. One by Lawler and another by Covington, a three-run shot. So the Yanks offense has its work cut out for it. And it's going to start with Maris against Billy Pierce. Here's the pitch, a 54. That's a deep drive right field. Backing up is Covington to the wall and makes the catch. So Maris got into one, drove it deep, but did not carry out. Here's Mantle now with one out. Top of the eighth. Yanks trail by four runs. A 31 is a base hit. Infield single. Hit off the pitcher and rolled towards the shortstop. Never really making it there. So Mantle is on at first. And that looks like a double. I don't know why. Okay, so single. And here's Bob serve. Pierce now checks in with Waller for the sign. Sets and deals. A 51. And that is, again, a ground ball. And... Up, uh, up the middle, and it's stopped by Aparicio, but there'll be no play. So another infield hit. And I think that's going to be it. We're going to go to the bullpen for the White Sox. Let's see who they got there. Uh, they got, uh, I think it's, uh, what do we say it was? Hold on a second. I think it's Lound, right? Yeah, Lound like town. All right, so Lound's going to come in. And he's a pretty good pitcher. He's a B, I believe. Turk Lound. Let's tidy him up a little bit. It's yeah, this is, these are scans because I don't want to mess up the originals, so I use the scans in my games. So I like to make them look as much as like the originals as I can. There he is, Turk Lound B pitcher. Seven and a third, seven point one. For Pierce and Lown is going to face Scourin with runners on first and second. Here's a pitch and Scourin with a five. That's going to be a drive. Let's see what that's going to be. First and second, a drive off the wall, digging around second, going for third, scoring his mantle and serve, going for third is Scourin. He's in there with a two run triple. And we're going to get a pinch runner. Four and five. So a triple for Moose Scourin. And let's see. Elston Howard's up. We're going to get a pinch runner. Who's it going to be? It's going to be Reed. And Howard is up. I'm going to walk Howard intentionally. Uh, that's putting the... But I'm going to do it. Um, 
I'm going to walk Howard intentionally. And 35, so it would have been a hit, most likely. Oh, no, actually, it would have been an out because of a B pitcher. And they're going to face Richardson now. Bobby Richardson has really struggled this season. He's batting 188. I could pinch hit for him, but I'm not going to. Here's a pitch. And a 62 is a 31, which is a fly ball center field. On the run is Landis, and he catches up to it to, for the second out. Oh, runner on third. That may be actually... Uh, hold on a second. Reed is a pinch runner, so... I may get a sacrifice fly out of this. First and third. Center field. No runner holds. Oh, who is the wait, center fielder's Landis? And Landis is a three. And it will be a sacrifice fly. So the Yanks look out. SF, RBI. The game is tied. Oh, actually, they scored. They were down by four. So, no, it's 6-5. to five. The game is not tied. Excuse me. And Clevenger, the pitcher's up. I'm going to bring in a pinch hitter here. Who's it going to be? Lefty Blanchard. So Blanchard's going to pinch hit. Got good power. And a couple of pitchers in the Yankee bullpen. It looks like it's Coates and uh, Yo-Yo Arroyo. Here's a pitch, and that's a 44. That's going to be a base hit. This will send uh, Howard is slow, so he's going to stop the second. First and second. And Boyer now. First and second. Two out. Top of the eighth. Six to five White Sox. Lound on the mound for the White Sox. Pitches to Boyer. And that's a 42. Will be a strikeout. And he strikes out Boyer. The Yanks strand two. And, but they score three. And the score is six to five. On one, two, three, four hits. The big hit being the triple by Scourin. Got a new first baseman. I'm wondering if uh, who's it going to be. So let's see. Boyer struck out there. And we're going to have. Darren Johnson. It's going to be a first base. All right, Minoso up. New pitcher for the Yanks is required. And we'll go with uh, Sheldon. Another deep pitcher. So Johnson's in there. Raleigh Sheldon is a D. Minoso against Sheldon. Here's a pitch of 45. That's ball four. So Minoso walks to lead off the bottom of the eighth. Fuzzy Smith is up. Pitch the Fuzzy and a 21 is going to be a fly to left. Serve under it. One down. Landis. And that's fouled down the line into the seats. Again, the pitch is 64. Struck him out. Big strikeout for Sheldon, Raleigh Sheldon. And here's Sherm Lawler. Lawler homered. He's one for two and walked. Pitch to Lawler. 64. That'll be a 38. Minoso. I believe that's a stolen base, right? In Appa, I believe it's a stolen base. 38 will be a stolen base as holes first. Minoso, I believe, is a fast. So there goes Minoso, the throw down from Howard, not in time.
and we're going to intentionally walk Lawler to pitch to to go to the pitcher. And that was a snake eyes, by the way, so that worked. And they're going to let um, Lound bat because Lound is their closer. So, oh, not a pinch hitter. He will hit though. He goes 15, and that's a strikeout to end the inning. So Lown bats and strikes out 6 to 5. He's going to face the top of the, well, the Kubik, um, pretty much the top of the order Kubik, Maris, and Mantle, the big guns for the Yanks here in the top of the ninth inning. Let's see what happens. Lions of B versus Tony Kubik, who's uh, one for four so far. And here he's going to ground out to the first baseman. Sears steps on the bag for the first out. Maris is next. Need a home run from one of these two guys. These are the guys to do it. And that is a 34, a deep drive center field. On the run is Landis, and Landis comes up with it. Nice running catch. And the Yanks are down to the last out here in the top of the ninth, trailing by one. But it's Mickey Mantle who's got a one at 66, a one at 11, and then fives at 33 and 22. Here's a pitch. And a 54, that's a deep drive to right field. Covington on the track, and the ball game is over. So the Yanks made it exciting, but they fell a little bit short. They lose it today, 6-5. to five. Chicago, 6 runs, 7 hits, no errors. Yanks, 5 runs, 11 hits, and 1 error. And Billy Pierce wins it 6-1. and one. Wow. And he's a D pitcher. Stafford, who's a B pitcher, is 0-3 for the Yanks this season. Lown gets his third save. Yanks 25 and 19, while the White Sox are 25 and 21. Home runs. Um, Covington hit one. Lawler hit one for the White Sox. For the Yanks, it was Howard, his first of the season. And. Um, and that's about it, folks. So, good game. 5, 11, and 1 for the Yanks. 6, 7, and 0 for the uh, White Sox. So, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, join Universal Baseball Association Facebook group, as well as the um, all the other groups that are affiliated. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Let me take a quick uh, look at the box score just to get a feel if there's anything. Three hits for Elston Howard. Raised his average to 344. Hit his first home run. Um, Scott went two for three. He's batting close to 230, 227 now. The one who continues to struggle is uh, Richardson. And I do want to get to the standings and see what what's what with that Yankees are in second place eight and a half games behind Detroit who's 35 and 12 the Yanks are 25 and 19 so they have a way to go to catch Detroit Detroit has a heck of a team and uh, and that's about it so I'll see you guys soon take care